When you got the script and yeah. you knew you, you were going to be playing alongside Diane Keaton, gosh, I bet you couldn't believe your luck, could you? I, yeah, I couldn't. I remember I got the call and it was my agent sort of calling. She just said, uh, Peter, what do you think of Diane Keaton? And I was like, Diane Keaton, and I just went this whole thing like she's revolutionised the romantic comedy. Blah, blah, blah. It was just such a huge thing. I mean, I've, I've grown up sort of watching, the, you know, you grow up watching Godfather and Annie Hall and... You know, I was just saying, like, she's, she sort of wrote the book on romantic comedies, so to be, you know, a romantic comedy with Dan Keaton was just uh, a dream come true. It really was. It was sort of, you know, you don't say no to jobs like this. and You, you, know. don't, you don't indeed. So and, it was great. And, and to shoot in such lovely, prestigious locations as well. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know, just, I think it's like one of the, you know, it's like first film that's really taken advantage of what Hampstead's all about. I mean, it's such a lovely location. And uh, and I think that really, really so it's like, it's, it's, the, it's the, one of the big characters in the film is Hampstead. And I think Joel just really sort of managed to capture that. And uh, and it was just, yeah, a lot of fun, you know. I mean, you know, playing Xavier, who's like, you know, this sort of concierge who certainly doesn't belong in Hampstead. He's not, you know, he's not born and bred Hampsteadite, I guess, Hampsteader. Uh, you know, he's a Bradford lad like me. You know, I just played myself, really. Um, but, um, but, but, yeah. So it's really interesting to sort of see how he fits into it all. It was, um, yeah, it was really a great place to film. Yeah, and, and, and your your kind of character, kind of, it, it is because he's so the opposite to everybody else that lives yeah. in there, right? It kind of gives that balance, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, he's a total fish out of water. He's the saviour, and um, and yet, you know, at the same time, he sort of there's this connection that he has with with Diane's with Diane's character that that was just so much fun to explore. You know, it was like you know he's the one guy who kind of gets her in a way that a lot of other people don't, and because uh, I think they both are in a way. You know, she's from America and he's from up north, and they're both kind of fish out of water in a, in a sense. And uh, so there's certainly that connection within the characters, and. Um, something that you did explore with Diane bit, bit, as in kind of pre-production we did yeah you know we had a bit of time we just sort of like we're just hanging out with her you know I think it came really quick I mean you know like I was saying that you know when you get the call and you kind of go oh my god I'm gonna work with her but Diane is you know a lot of people say that but she's just genuinely the most down-to-earth lovely person there's no airs or graces and and the moment you're on set with her it's just it's just fun you know she makes it really fun and you re you don't realize you know you don't sort of it's like you're not really, you know, it's not Diane Keaton anymore. She's, she's Emily, you know, and I'm Xavier. And it was just, it, it came very quickly, that sort of rapport. And uh, and Joel was amazing, just allowed to sort of improv a few lines and then, and just sort of really get into it. So it sort of, it did develop, but it developed very quickly, that that sort of, um, that bond and the rapport that, that I had with that. Uh, see that on screen. Oh, you can? Oh, I'm, I'm glad. Absolutely. I'm glad it's coming across. Yeah, no, that's great.